54 high school seniors from across Kentucky are blazing new ground on the campus of WKU. While they may have given up a traditional senior year, the ones I spoke to say they gained so much more. It's real exciting knowing we're the first ones and we're kind of pioneers into this math and science. Emily Peeler of Bowling Green and Ellen Boswell of Henderson are relishing their final days at the Gatton Academy. It's just surprised me how much I've been able to grow. They say the past year has been amazing, challenging them in new ways. The first test is always a shock. I had to figure out how to manage my time between studying and socializing. And there's a lot of studying and socializing going on. Gatton Academy Director Tim Gott agrees there was an adjustment period. The first couple of weeks was a real wake-up call for some. And but he adds when you give students an opportunity to rise, they will. We took the ceiling off of what they would study, the opportunities for research, the service projects, all of the things that they they really rose to the challenge and made it work. Seth Tooley of Scottsville says the academy far exceeded his expectations. The rigor is just what I needed to get me adapt, better adapted to college life. And if I can handle this, I can pretty much handle anything. The year has also been a learning experience for staff, especially dealing with the intense emotional dynamic of high school students. This really brings a lot of that to the forefront. And we've been able to do some really deep, serious counseling with students because of it. It's a true family atmosphere, a home away from home, and now it culminates with graduation. Big moment. It's going to be great to finally graduate and be in college for real. <laughs> of the 54 graduates, 24 of them will continue their studies at WKU, and 82% will stay in college in the state of Kentucky. The Gatton commencement is scheduled for 1 o'clock Saturday at the Ivan Wilson Fine Arts Center Amphitheater. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.